Hey YouTube, um, thanks for watching. Uh, today I'm going to show you a uh, process that spammers use to enumerate email address and get legit email address um, so they can use for spamming. Um, so, uh, but before I begin, just a little disclaimer. Um, just remember that anything you do um, that came from this video is your responsibility. Uh, so, uh, make sure that you follow the law and make the appropriate uh, get the appropriate permission uh, if you're going to enumerate anyone's email address. All right. So let's begin. Uh, so what I'm looking here at here is uh, basically Excel sheet of people's last name within the U.S. This is top 1,000. Um, I got this from the Census Bureau, um, census.gov, and uh, they got lots of data out there, you know, uh, a list of last name, list of first name. You could usually enumerate the two lists and combine them and, and, and get a pretty good list of email address um, uh, that you could enumerate um, here in a little bit I'm going to show you that process to see if they're legit email address but um, I'm going to run through the process and uh, you know just for informational sake you know uh, just to show you guys how it's done so if you like the video please like and subscribe uh, so kind of follow along um, so there's numerous ways online that you can get uh, people's name uh, you can google it there's dictionaries out there um, full of people's last name and first name and combined first last name and stuff like that but uh, once you get that usually what you want to do is you want to I use Kali Linux so um, you go to Kali and um, first thing you need to do is find the SMTP server so we're going to do SMTP enumeration uh, in Kali there's a command called SMTP user enum uh, which is used for enumeration of email address um, to see if they're legit and real. Basically, it sends a uh, confirmation to the SMT SMTP server um, that's being used, and the SMTP server will send something back um, informing you whether uh, the email address is uh, in existence on their server or not. So, uh, here we go. Um, so for the sake of time, I'm going to use um, a single email address and um, single SMTP server IP address. So here's how you do it. Uh, first thing you do, let's say we use Gmail. Uh, so we're going to have to enumerate uh, and get the IP address for the SMTP server for Gmail. So this is how it's done. Basically, it's an NSLOOKUP command and uh, smtp dot uh, let's say gmail dot com press enter and there it is uh, there's the address there's the conical name right there but here's the address that we want to use uh, so gmail is basically uh, 108 and 109 so 77 74.125.21.109 and also 108 so that's the email address we're going to be using to enumerate we also need the port number. Uh, you can Google and get the port number or, or do a search and look up the port number for uh, either Google or Ymail or Hotmail or, or you know, uh, depending on the email address or email SMTP server that you're going to be enumerating, you need to figure out uh, what's the popular, what's the port they're using um, uh, along with the email, along with the IP address. So. Uh, so this is the IP address that we're going to be using and because I configured Outlook before I know that uh, Gmail uses 587 as the uh, port number so after this is done you want to usually you want to invoke your SMTP command um, first let's use the help function uh, so that you know how to use it so it's SMTP user or dash user dash enum and then space dash h for help um, so here's the usage um, direction uh, there's lots of ways to use it uh, but for this particular demo I'm just going to go ahead and use 
uh, dash M for just verify to tell me if the email address is, uh, is actually a real one. Uh, there's also uh, a dash U and a dash T. If you're going to create a email dictionary in a text file, you want to use the capital U. If you are going to be using a uh, IP address uh, for SMTP server uh, dictionary in a text pad, you're going to use capital T. But if you're just going to use a single user, single I email address, and a single uh, IP address you'll just use lowercase u and lowercase t so this is how it works verify lowercase u and uh, let's just go ahead and use uh, one of my email address so tech savvy Sorry, tech gorilla savvy at gmail.com. And then we're going to use capital T, and then we're going to go back up and grab this IP address here for the SMTP server for Google. We're going to paste it right there. And then we're going to use port 587 whoops oh, there it is uh, port yep. turn on my num lock 587 just press enter Oop, must have typed in something wrong oh okay I typed well, ST and MP it's supposed to be uh, S. SMTP. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, should work now. All right, there it is. Uh, so it's verifying that techsavvygorilla at gmail.com exists. So, um, this is just on a smaller scale. We're using single user, single uh, Gmail account, and single IP address. But um, if you want to create a mixture of names and enumerate your name and, and get a, a batch of email address, you would use capital U and, and capital T. So hopefully um, you learned something from that. Uh, if you like what you, you're watching, just subscribe and um, um, I'll try to get some more videos out. I appreciate you guys. See you guys later. Bye-bye.